Now I'm very excited. Finally, we get to introduce our EBI 12 and EBI 11 further. Uh, I would say uh, most of our pharmaceutical customer would choose EBI 12 rather than EBI 11. Uh, it is not because that they are not good. It's just like they are uh, a little bit smaller. We call them bullet type EBI 11. And then for EBI 12, I think you can imagine the size. It's just like a, a mooncake. Uh, if you are from Asia, I think you know what, what is the size of the mooncake. But if you are from Europe, I'm not sure. Um, EBI 12, the goodness of it is because that it is a little bit uh, larger compared to our what our competitor is offering. So what our competitor is offering is similar to this size. So, uh, you know, it's very small. So the battery is also very small. You probably need to change the battery very frequent. Uh, um, depends on how frequent you use it. But our EBI 12, because it is a little bit bigger, it has a very good housing. And then we sometimes can uh, offer up to four channel of the temperature logger, or you maybe three uh, channel of the temperature and then one uh, point of the pressure. And uh, you can measure from minus 200 degree to 400 degree. And then uh, underneath of this uh, metal part, we have a, a peak, like a good material of the plastic. Uh, that's the place that we uh, use to program the logger. And sometimes we can even read out the data real time with the radio frequency. And of course, all the uh, uh, data logger, they have the calibration certificate. Um, but of course, we still have some customer, they prefer to use EBI 11. It's just like a, you, uh, for each logger, they have only one point uh, for each logger. So for an autoclave, uh, maybe you need 12 pieces to 16 pieces. And Compared to the EBI 12, you probably only need three pieces or four pieces, and then you can finish the validation of an autoclave. So this would be our best-selling product uh, for pharma industry. So um, here I kind of arranged a table for you to um, take a look of the process that and solutions that we can offer. Actually, Sebastian and uh, Alan kind of already mentioned all of them, but I still want to show you this table. Some of the parameter we can offer and some of the parameter we can offer, but um, I think this table uh, kind of help you to know what kind of locker is good for you to choose. For example, for this moist heat uh, autoclaves, we have this one, the four channel uh, temperature uh, locker that uh, the sensor is flexible sensor. You can see that it's very thin, very small, and uh, you can easily fix them in the chamber or put them in the vial or a package or attach it to the service. So this is uh, my favorite for the steam supervisor. And of course, we also have this pressure logger pressure and then with the three point of the uh, temperature sensor. And this is also good because have a, having the pressure sensor, then you will know whether the vacuum is really good enough or not. And for Lyle, uh, we have this low temperature logger. This kind of logger, it is different. The sensor is bendable sensor. You can uh, bend the, the sensor as the angle as you wish, and then it can measure from minus 200 to plus 200. Um, so thinking that if you have many different equipments in your facility, like I have an um, autoclave and then I have a dry heat, I have a um, different kind of unit, uh, maybe it's good to choose this kind of logger uh, because the application is more. And then we also have this H2O2 and uh, uh, ethylene oxide, uh, this one. So for this one, it's important that you need to choose the explosion proof, uh, the ATEX certified product, because it, you know uh, the the gas, EO gas is very flammable. So uh, we would suggest you to use the ATEX certified product. Okay. So here it comes another one. Uh, I saw your poll. Most of you are more interested in the moisture heat. Um, I think this is interesting for you because this is the electronic voidic test for autoclaves. So by using this one, 
uh, it is possible that to replace your disposable paper test. Now probably you are using the 3M test paper and then whenever you use it and then you need to dispose it uh, and then you doesn't uh, have the digital data for you to track whether it is, uh, uh, if it is passed, it's fine, but why it is, it, it didn't pass, you didn't know, you don't know what's the reason and our digital data logger that it would tell you the reason and uh, whether it's the, the uh, steam is not penetrated or uh, temperature didn't reach. Uh, and we did many, many tests and then to embed this um, product. And so we also get the certificate from the third party so you can trust. So we also have some accessories and design for our product. Like these are some protection box that it could help you to prolong the life of the logger. Uh, think about if you dropped it and maybe this protection box will help. And then there's eyelet or straps that help you easily to fix our sensor inside of the autoclave or the chamber. And you can change the battery if needed, or you can uh, uh, send it simply send it to the distributor and then they will do it for you. And this one is the thing that I really want to recommend because I only see this product from Ebro that this is the sensor check AL2A5. It is a homogeneous aluminum block. You can see there are many whole different size of the hole on side of the block. It, it means the different uh, diameter. So uh, uh, for, uh, for example, if one day that one of the user that dropped the sensor or uh, the door kind of hit the sensor and then you, you're not very sure whether this sensor, this probe is still functioning okay or not. You could simply put insert the sensor into this block and then compare with other uh, sensors that you have. Uh, and then just put into autoclave, run the process, then you would know whether this sensor is still running okay or not. This is very simple, easy and uh, cost effective. You can do it by yourself at home with our software. So of course, we also have uh, the software for uh, our validation process. We have a WinLock Pro uh, professional software. We have WinLock validation for uh, different process. Um, I can spend another two or three hours in explaining our software, but I, I know the time is limited. And I just want to tell you that both of them are certified by the CFR Part 11. And we also offer, offer the IQOQ documentation. And if you are really interested to see the demo, how does it look like and what's the function? And then you can, uh, you know, type your uh, interests later uh, in the chat box and then we can follow up with you. And I'm very happy to do the personal or session with you. Uh, only one function I would like to display here is the building template. This is uh, the interface of our WinLog validation. We do have many different uh, building templates that you could choose and to use. So you would know, okay, how does this uh, serialization look like? And then uh, what's the parameter? And then, and I can, you can just simply change uh, by using these uh, templates, building templates. And our WinLog validation can even do this um, based on the criteria that you set up in the system, in the software, that we tell you whether it is passed or failed. If it is failed, why is the reason? Uh, everything will be shown in this result box. 